Leading a Sydney lawyer specialising in fighting traffic fines claims drivers have lost their right to contest mobile speeding fines in court. Reporter Adam Walters joins us now. Adam, how are they different to other fines which people can contest? Well, Mark, fines uh, from our new mobile speed cameras are generated by a private company, not the police or the RTA. Now, leading traffic lawyer Dennis Morales claims government laws mean this company does not have to defend itself if challenged in court. The same company has been in trouble in the United States. Motorists have been raising hell in Arizona, taking on Australian speed camera company Redflex and winning. It was over 75% of the people who were issued tickets here uh, just threw them in the trash. Now New South Wales drivers are being urged to make their own stand. Motorists will have a serious concern about the legitimacy of the ticket that's been issued. Redflex was contracted in July to run New South Wales mobile speed cameras in a way proven to be unconstitutional in the US. Americans absolutely adore their constitution and they're not going to let anybody violate their constitutional rights, let alone some company from Australia. Sydney lawyer Dennis Morales says the state government has effectively granted Redflex immunity from defending its tickets in court. People are entitled to face the person who's accusing them of committing an offence. We're model litigants. We want to make sure that we're only finding people that deserve to be fined. Although police and RTA officers are required to appear in court, Redflex camera operators can't be cross-examined on whether they stick to the rules of enforcement. Dennis Morales says the problem stems from using private contractors who are driven by profits, unlike police, who are independent. It's like putting Dracula in charge of the blood bank. Cops are the ones that save lives. Cameras don't. The citizens of Sydney need to stand up for their safety. Now, Mark, the... Rhodes Minister claims that the Redflex operators are not exempt from having to appear in court, but lawyers are maintaining that the company simply doesn't have a big enough staff to fight the thousands of fines in court, Mark. Could be some fight, Adam. Thank you.